Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching The Angry Truth Channel. So, today's video, we're going to talk about will Donald Trump win the 2024 elections? Now, I'm sort of up in the air about it because with all that's going on, at least all the legal issues he have, I feel like this is going to push people to vote for him. And that's why all of a sudden it's been radio silence on anything involving him legally, legal-wise. Sorry. So... Will he win the next election? Now, a lot of you guys are going to say yes, and a lot of people are going to say no. But only time's going to tell. Now, I have been paying attention to a lot of Democrats, guys, switching their mind about Trump, knowing, or rather watching, all of these legal actions come about against Trump. People are sitting there going, there's got to be something they're hiding about him or don't want him to win the next election because they're bringing up all of these trumped up charges no pun intended and they're bringing up all these charges on him that are all bs now again guys you see them throwing him under the bus you see them bringing him in front of court in front of tv uh you know they wanted to do the perp walk with him in new york city they were like no way they wanted to do a mug shot they said no dice so that didn't happen but other states are looking to bring him up on charges that being said guys they are they're approaching this point right now where it looks like they are picking on him and bullying him which they are and the problem is when you get people who recognize what bullying looks like you start to look at uh donald trump a little differently now you're like wait a minute this guy is a dick but they're going out of their way to stifle him to make sure he doesn't run now it doesn't matter what legal issue he has he could still run for president and guess what he could still win and not only could he win if he landed in jail, which none of these cases are going to land him in jail, but if he did, he could still be president of the United States behind bars. Now, they're making him a martyr right now. That's the bigger issue, because if you want to demonize a person, this is not how you do it. You come up with more solid reasons why not to vote for him, and unfortunately, Democrats can. Now, the craziness about it is that you have a lot of Democrats that are jumping ship jumping ship from the democratic party and joining the republican party and or the independent party so they're just leaving the democratic party because they're like you guys are losing your mind not only that but you guys are trying to trump charges up or make these charges up on donald trump where there's nowhere this is going to go he's not going to do any jail time and i would be almost surprised and shocked that they found him guilty on any of it because it's such bullshit letitia james brought charges on him involving his um his business and what did he do? What did he do? He um, made it more expensive than it was, or he, he evaluated his company higher than it should have been, sorry. And then here in New York City, Alvin Bragg's with the hush money with the whore, the prostitute. I mean, the porn star, sorry. So anyway, you have those, those charges. And then you have a lady who's trying to file a defamation suit against Trump. I mean, like, listen, guys, it's all over the place. And right now they're making trump look like the victim and when people look at a victim long enough they start to side with the victim and now all trump could do is keep his mouth shut now trump has made some speeches in the last couple of months which you're looking at what's going on in this country now there is no way a sane person can vote for biden after trump called out what was going to happen they're actually replaying the video during the last election where Trump was going to tell you what was going to happen if Biden got in and it's all happening. We got the financial downside, if you will. I don't want to call it a crash just yet. We have this uh, international relationships are falling apart all over the world, even in France, which is a little surprising. Uh, well, not really. It's France. You know, they fucking they'll sell out their mothers. So my point, guys, is that this is looking good for Donald Trump. I think he is going, my opinion, he's going to win. But the other side of me is saying he might not. And if he does, will something bad happen to him? Now, if something bad happens to Donald Trump, coincidentally, he doesn't make the election or he wins the election and he doesn't make the, um, the inauguration. If something happens to him, all hell will break loose in this country. I feel that if something bad happens to Donald Trump, we are going to see the second civil war because it's going to get out of control. Now, again, it's not going to be the same Civil War, guys, where you saw, you know, you saw dudes on the field playing flutes and shit and shooting at each other and standing there taking bullets and round. No, it's not going to be that, but we're definitely going to see Civil War, like a real one, not the 
the faux civil war that we're sort of seeing now with the left versus the right. No, no, no. I'm talking about full-fledged civil war if something happens to Donald Trump. And I think, guys, that they would be that desperate, they would go that route. Because the only other route they can go right now, guys, is that. That or they upload some shit on his computer and then they go, look what he has on his computer. They can do that as well, which I'm pretty sure they've probably tried a million times. Still, if something happens to him, all hell's going to break loose. And we're going to see our second biggest civil war. And the only reason why it's going to be the biggest because we have way more people now to get involved. Um, and a lot of people, guys, are not having it. If something accidentally happens to this man, this country is going to tear itself apart. Period. We're going to see shit we have never seen ever in the world, let alone in this country. Anyway, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching The Angry Truth channel.